there on your screen, number four. So they'll go to Waters plenty, but they also want to take some shots today. Beard back to throw on the first play from scrimmage, and he's got a man open, and the pass is caught. It's Frank Gordon, the fourth, for an immediate first down, taken out to the 32-yard line. Gordon, an 1,100-yard receiver, gets the first target of the day. Yeah, great protection to start this game right here, and this is a confidence builder for a couple of 1,000-yard receivers uh, as well for East Nashville. Waters across the 40-yard line, close to a first down. Looks like he might be a leader for Alcoa. Gordon breaks the tackle. Stays on his feet inside the 30 and down to the 25 yard line. Another big strike as they pick up 33 to 29. And it's Waters up the middle, now to the outside, on his feet to the goal line. Touchdown, East Nashville. Traquan Waters has the Eagles out to a 6 0 lead. Paul Stewart elected to take the football so they could come out of the gates, get a fast start, and put up some points. It worked out perfectly. Tony Lassiter's point after attempt is blocked. And he is now 15 for 22 on the year in point after attempts. And it was Eli Owens who got it. Cannon stays in the backfield next to Lunsford. They'll try it again. And he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Here's the offense for the Alcoa Tornadoes. Gary Rank line. That's why we talked about owning the trenches. They usually do. Yeah, they certainly do. Jordan Harris, a great running back. But I tell you what, uh, that offensive line is the bread and butter for this offensive unit. And they've got an outstanding tight end as well. And there he is. Get those hands inside the framework of the body. He caught that one on the outside, pulled the jersey. They're going to call it every time. Beard from his goal line has to step up, trying to get away from trouble. On the run and wrapped up. Aaron Davis pulling down Zach Beard for another loss. That's for it in the shotgun. It's a cannon to the 35. Stays on his feet. Still on his feet near the 20-yard line. What a run by Eli Cannon. He stepped up when Cannon and Harris came out, and part of it was a, a lopsided score. They didn't feel like they had to get Harris and Cannon back in there. Here's a pass to the end zone, to the goal line, for a touchdown. And it's Luke Cannon on the receiving end of a Zach Lunsford touchdown. The Cannon brothers making no ever done. Third and two, Waters, and he's got the first down. Good second effort there by Traquan Waters and move the chains. Nashville, fourth down, Beard down the middle of the field, and it is caught for a first down. A big conversion by the Eagles, and a terrific catch by DeAnthony Lanier, the junior with his ninth catch of the year, a massive reception on fourth down. Yeah, it certainly was. Would have liked to see Beard throw this football a little bit sooner right there as Beard sat down in that zone coverage and was open. We'll get another shot at it right there. Looks like he shielded the ball. The official who called the complete on top of it in the first down move the chance for East Nashville. We've got a long way to go today, but we may look back on that play as Waters is ushered out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Fourth down and nine, they nine. Now they've got to get it done on fourth and three. They'll bunch it up so that Beard can run it. And he's got the first down inside the five yard line. Another big conversion by East Nashville and a flag comes in late. Beard again to the goal line with a lunge. He's in for a touchdown. Zach Beard with a rushing touchdown and East Nashville has gone back on top. You love to have a quarterback like Zach Beard because you can have so many designed quarterback runs just like this right here. And the reason this play is successful and they score is it's a designed quarterback run, which means the backs turn into uh, blocking back. Mistakes were part of what cost him. So they're gonna go for two again. Beard, similar play, and he's got it. And this game 
as a 14-7 advantage for the Eagles. Well, like I said, I'm not a fan of chasing points in the second quarter unless you convert. And uh, East Nashville converts right here on this drive. Elijah Cannon stays on his feet, fighting his way toward the 40-yard line. My goodness, Eli Cannon from a two-yard gain to a 10-yard gain. Wow. You think that kid doesn't? A threat in his own right for the Salcoa offense. Lunsford back to throw. Taking a deep shot, and he's got Cannon. First on the ground, and now through the air. Down to the 13-yard line. For of the backfield right there, and uh, Lunsford just having patience, lets it fly, and uh, big gainer for the Tornadoes. Cannon comes out, now Harris is in. And it's shorted Harris. First carry of the day, looking boys inside the five. And there's the Mr. Football finalist on offense. And out, and they bring in Mr. Football finalist. From the three, Harris, touchdown, Tornadoes. 19 rushing touchdowns on the year for Jordan Harris. Jordan Harris. And his team is within a point of East Nashville. Yeah, this is a great answer by this offense. The last score for East Nashville, Alcoa takes it position early on there. Beard's got to throw it. Good protection, intercepted. Picked off by the Tornadoes. Braden Cornett to the five. Into the end zone for a pick six. Alcoa retakes the lead. Braden Cornett. With the interception return for a touchdown. The interception return for a touchdown. Yeah, and this one just didn't have a chance for East Nashville. Zach Beard throws right into Cornette's hands, who's just dropped. Zach Beard, pressure coming. On the run, hits his man. A reception to Frank Gordon in the fourth. And a first down for East Nashville. A big conversion again out to the 30. Second and seven from the 31. Waters to the outside. And inside the 20 yard line, there is a flag, and it looks like this one is coming back. Joe Waters empties out of the backfield. Beard is on the run. Takes a shot. It was Aaron Davis again. He has come to play today. A flag coming in, and he's now 10 now. Big change here from the 22. Beard, and he finds Gordon. Down to the 12 yard line. That'll be a first down. They love that. It's be an automatic check, especially with the safety back. They've made a living on the slant route so far. Under a minute. Beard to Lanier, and down to the one yard line. Left before halftime. Yeah, great game management right here by the East Nashville coaching staff. And Beard is in for the touchdown. And this outstanding first half in 3A has tightened up again. Zach Beard, a rushing touchdown, and the Eagles are within a point. He's going to throw on first down. He's got pressure coming. Drops it out. Jordan Harris across the 40. Cutting field to the 30. And Harris inside the 15-yard line and out of bounds at the 11. What a play on a terrific team up. Lunsford will roll out. Looking for the end zone. And he's got his man for a touchdown. Luke Cannon. Another touchdown for Cannon. His second of the day. And Alcoa with an answer right before halftime. And so, you know, Alcoa just has that short field again. We've seen it three times today. And uh, now they're going to go to the locker room with all the momentum in this one. And look out. That ball is picked up by the Tornadoes. Another special teams mistake by East Nashville. And Caden Bogan. Garrison Stevens on the pick. Here in field goals. It's a very short field goal attempt, and he's got it. field goal. So Alcoa, instead of trying to get a touchdown, just says, all right, we'll try to take three and make it a two-score game. 
And they do. Stone with Harris to his right. Harris up the middle, gets a couple more, just trying to get them a little breathing room, and he gets it out to the 10 for a six yard gain. Straight state championships. Alcoa trying to do that today. Harris, close to a first down, and he's got it. He needed four, and he got five on a third and short. And he picks up the first down. Now they go play action. The tight end Owens coughed it up, gets it back. Eli Owens, the outstanding sophomore tight end for Alcoa, caught it, lost it, and match of the day. Harris to the outside, stiff arm, stays up inside the 30. And it takes a group to bring him down. Uh, that time East Nashville with Anthony Arnold part of the stop. About the stiff arm by Jordan Harris right here as he hits the outside. For Alcoa, here he is on second and seven. He's gonna keep it, and it happens. Oh is taken out of bounds. He might have gotten a half a yard. Two years ago in the COVID year of 2020, Zach Lundu on the first offensive possession of the second half for East Nashville. Traquan Waters, cutting to the outside, down the sideline, and inside the 15. Knocked out of bounds by Jordan Harris. And a flag comes in late. The 14 final. It's a rematch this year. Zach Beard up the middle. First down for the Eagles. Down to the 16 yard line for Zach Beard. I love the design of this play, but they're not putting themselves in long uh, down and distances so far today. Beard again. Close to the first down, and it looks like he's got it. He needed the six, and that's where he got, and they will move the chains. Beard. He's going to throw it to the end zone. Got his man for a touchdown. And it's Bobby Joyner, a guy that Alcoa singled out this week as a dangerous threat in the air. Trey Joyner. Bobby Joyner the third with his 12th farther this time. He'll wait, let his guys get down there a little bit, trying to pin the Eagles inside the 15. It is caught by Rolando Braxton, and he's got running room. Braxton out past the 40 and out to the 45 yard line where the Eagles will get it back down by five with good field position. Zach Beard. Back to throw, good protection. Down the middle, and incomplete. Bobby Joyner was surrounded by four tornadoes, including Jordan Harris. That's a Lunsford back to throw. He's got plenty of time. He wants a deep ball, and he's got his man. Luke Cannon again. Third touchdown of the day. The sophomore Luke Cannon and Alcoa takes a 37 26 lead. And that is a nobody trashes Tennessee touchdown. Look at Lunsford's ability to extend the play with his legs right there. And that's Cannon. With Coach Stewart, you feel how much he loves his players. Here's Elijah Cannon with three Eagles trying to pull him down. Gets a good running offensive lines. Lunsford on the handoff. Cannon inside the 15 yard line. Another big play for Alcoa. Josh, we talked to both head coaches this week, and they both went out of their way to bring up their O line coaches. Brian Gossett is the offensive line coach for Alcoa. Did the work is the offensive line coach for Alcoa in the work with Lance Williams, Tyler Jeffries and company, and Josh Southall is the O-line coach for East Nashville. Here's Cannon inside the five. The O-line work for both of these teams, maybe they go about a little bit different way. It's developed differently for both teams, but here they are. The They'll give it to Jordan Harris. Back inside the 10, Harris diving. He's into the end zone for a Tornado's touchdown. Mr. Football finalist, Jordan Harris, into the end zone for the second time today.
And that is a nobody trashes Tennessee touchdown. And the Tornadoes lead by 18. Yeah, Jordan Harris presses the perimeter. There's nobody to help the spill coming from the backside. Their backup is typically Martez Lamb. They're going to hand it off here and get past the 30-yard line. That's Perez Winstead on the carry. Yeah, Martez Lamb is only a limited in what they are able to do. Uh, with this offensive uh, play call. Winstead, helmet comes off, but he gets a first down. Traquan Waters is not in there either. Yeah, both of them. In the backfield. Lamb, back to throw, taken down. Joe McCord again. He is having a day. And let's go down to Murphy Fair on the sidelines. Man, that is tough to see right now. Lamb in the air. Great jumping catch. Bobby Joyner. He's still on his feet. Foot race inside the 20 and inside the 15 for Bobby Joyner. And East Nashville is not going away yet. Well, when you're a sophomore on the air here, three, four yards on the ground isn't going to cut it anymore. Third and 11, Lamb gets hit. Joe McCord again. What a day for McCord on defense. There was no time for Martez Lamb. McCord's got nine tackles and now a pair of sacks. Yeah, and this is a scheme problem right here for East Nashville. You can't expect a running. Martez Lamb. And he is sacked again. The Alcoa defense with a state championship in sight comes up 526. Gonna run some time away now. Elijah Cannon with Eli Graff in at quarterback handing it in the stadium today. Jordan Harris will punt it away. Doesn't quite make it to midfield on the fly. It'll come to a stop with about five, now four seconds to go. And the ball resting on the 47-yard line. Ryan Nix trying to find some different guys, make sure the right people are where he wants them to be as they cement another state championship. Yeah, you know, you talk about East Nashville, they're going to lose this game. They're going to have a 12 and three record. What a great run for them. They played very well today. The, the ball didn't bounce their way a few times. They had some special teams problems. They actually outgained in total yardage. They outgained Alcoa, you know, on the on the stats chart there, 313 to 300. So this is a Eagles team that played well enough to win this football game. They just ran into a buzzsaw. Tornadoes are going to send five guys back to the 10 yard line. Martez Lamb back in at quarterback for East Nashville with Zach Beard still out. Looks like they might just take a knee on this. East Nashville puts the knee down. The seconds will tick off. And for the Alcoa Tornadoes, it is eight straight Blue Cross Bowl championships, the most ever in the history of the state of Tennessee and it's 21 state championships overall. Alcoa again wins a Blue Cross Bowl.